Hello, it's Mr. Flick here. Thank you so much for being my substitute teacher. I don't know if I am just out of the country or if I'm homesick or maybe I got a doctor's appointment. I, I don't know what it might be, but I am so glad that you are here to experience the, um, I don't know, craziness, I could say, I guess, um, the fun that is exploring technology. Okay, so let's just go over a few things that you need to know where they are in here. Uh, first off, uh, the remote controls are all kind of down here on this shelf. So there's the AC remotes as well as the projector remote, and that kind of gets stored there. Below it here are, is the fire drill or fire emergency type thing, and you just exit through that door and go out onto Jasm Field, okay? Okay, uh, a couple more things you need to know. In this drawer, we keep all the styluses as well as adapters, and students can help themselves to that drawer. In the drawer that's next to it are the keys to the room. Okay, so this will unlock that door because uh, you probably will come in through the back door in the morning, and so you'll need to maybe unlock that door if it's not already, already unlocked, and that's where the keys live. It's right there. Now, the great thing about this class is that these students are all doing self-directed learning. So uh, they kind of take care of themselves. They need a little bit of encouragement like, hey, Paul, you can do this, buddy. You've got this. And you can see Paul is watching this wonderful person right here. They just watch little tutorial videos and they follow along and they get things done. Okay, so over here, Mario is doing some wonderful sewing and uh, getting things done there. Oh, let's just uh, some work being done here in the booth as well as some girls that are doing some podcasting in the studio and some robotics work here. Now, students can be in different places. So we do have an area back here in the stairwells that students like to be. And you can see right now that Jonathan is actually breaking one of the rules here. Jonathan, do you see that step there? You're up one too many stairs. Come down one step. There you go. No students beyond there. Just so you can kind of keep an eye on them. So they kind of work in here. They know what they need to do. And they know that this door needs to stay open here. Okay, I'm going to go into here. And uh, this is the other studio here where some girls are working. This is where all the lights are. So in the morning, I turn on basically everything that's marked with some blue tape. I turn it on. Uh, the speaker's there. So everything gets turned on in the morning. And then the far studio here. Everything working good? See, look at They're all becoming wonderful little digital artists here. And they're working good. Okay. And then this is the music studio, which no one is using today. And the lights are just right here. Okay, so here, here's the reality of the whole thing. So the kids should be taking care of themselves here, okay? So they will follow their own lessons and do all their things. If they get stuck, okay, um, they can go to other students for help. Uh, but let's say it's something like even over on the sewing machine or something and it runs out of thread. And if you don't know how to replace it, all you can do, really, you can just ask that student to work on another project, okay? Um, so if anyone ever gets stuck on something, they should go to a fellow student for help or just stop working on that project and then work on something else. And then when I get back, we can continue where they left off. So it's no problem at all. So really what you just do is you go around the room and you just um, make sure everybody's okay. Make sure everybody's behaving, you know, they like to get into things when I'm gone. So, uh, but no, it should be really great. And I hope that you have a fun time and see some amazing things. Okay, at the end of the day, what I just simply do is I, I grab the remotes here. I turn off the air conditioners. I go find all the iPads and they usually are scattered throughout the room by the end of the day. And I put them over here in the iPad charging racks, okay? And they're all numbered. You can see, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And so, and then 12 through 21 are over on this side. And I just put them all in there so that they're charging so that they're ready to go the next day. Like I said, turn off the AC, turn off the lights and uh, it should be good. Oh, there is a couple of places in here, a little strange here. Uh, just make sure that those lights, you can see, let me just zoom in there. There is a light switch right there. And also below it is a power switch for the mixers and things. Just make sure that they're turned off and that, that should do it. Okay, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Glad to have you here. And I hope that you have a great and enjoyable time with these amazing students. Um, one thing, if they, if all else fails and they're stuck or they've done a lot of these tech projects, uh, they are allowed to work on 
like other work. So if they want to do a math assignment or something for social studies, humanities, what have you, they can go work on that. Uh, they will try to tell you that they can have like free time, but they cannot um, watch YouTube videos or play video games or those type of things. They try it on me all the time. So it's not you. It's just what they try to do because they're middle schoolers. But anyhow, have a great time and I'll see you when I get back.